<laughs> Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to unbox and set up the Voyager 5 from Wakera. Click subscribe to see our upcoming flight testing video. This episode is brought to you by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. More than 80 years protecting our rights to fly and now offering commercial drone insurance, including hull coverage and up to $2 million in liability protection. We're going to start with the box. It's actually a substantial roller case with a pull handle and spring-loaded grips. It's sturdy and it does a good job protecting the aircraft with a custom-cut foam interior. Next, the aircraft. It folds down into this compact shape for transportation and storage. But you can get it set up for flying in less than a minute. The limbs and undercarriage are all carbon fiber with aluminum hardware. The build quality on the Voyager 5 is impressive. I'd say it's equal to, or better than, comparable aircraft from other manufacturers. It also meets the IP43 standard, meaning it's safe to fly in the rain. It has dual GNSS receivers, which fold up and lock into place before you go flying. The key feature of the Voyager 5 is a 30 times optical zoom camera mounted on a three axis gimbal. During transportation, it's protected by this plastic sheath, which is held in place by two connectors mounted on the limbs. The camera comes with a lens cap, which I'd recommend you use when you're not flying. The kit includes four 17 inch carbon fiber propellers. So one thing you definitely need to be aware of is that these propellers can be mounted on the wrong motors. If you try to take off with the wrong propeller on a motor, the very best you can hope for is a failure to launch. Make sure that the direction indicator on the propeller matches the direction indicator on the limb. The Voyager 5 has a double redundant battery system. It flies with three batteries on board, and Wakera says it can make it home even if two of them fail. This is a clever design because it means they won't fall out or get dislodged during flight. Each battery is six cells, 4300 milliamp hours. The kit includes this triple battery charger. And unlike other multi-battery chargers, this will recharge all three batteries simultaneously. And that's a significant benefit when you're conducting sustained operations. In addition to charging the flight batteries, this unit also charges the radio. The LEDs on the battery show their charge status. This is the control radio that comes with the kit. There are switches that allow you to control different flight modes. To make a selection, position the switch and then press down on the button. The radio also includes a third joystick, which you can use to control camera tilt and yaw. This knob on the shoulder of the radio controls camera zoom. Unfortunately, the radio isn't up to the same build quality as the aircraft, being made almost entirely out of plastic. I suspect that this same radio is shared among multiple Wakera drones, although at CES, I caught a glimpse of a new radio they're developing specifically for the Voyager 5. Also inside the case, you'll find hex keys for servicing the aircraft and the radio, cables for the charger and your smart device, as well as quick start guides in English and Chinese. Wakera uses a universal app for all of their drones, and it's available for both Android and iOS devices. Install the app and insert your device into the clamp on the radio. Then connect it to the port on the back with the appropriate cable. Power up the radio by pressing and holding the power button for three seconds. Power up your smart device, launch the app, and then select the Voyager 5 from the list of models. To power up the aircraft, Press and hold any one of the battery buttons for three seconds, and all three batteries will power up. To turn off the aircraft, you need to power down each battery individually by pressing and holding. The app is no frills, but all the key information like telemetry, status, and battery power remaining are clearly displayed. And this icon gives you access to the menus that allow you to change parameters like geofencing limits, sensor calibration, and more. So, that was our first look at the Voyager 5 from Wakera. Be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming flight testing videos.